Hello everyone, welcome back for another Elden Ring video. Look at this awesome jellyfish great shield. I was a little skeptical at first, but it's actually really strong and pretty lightweight. Um, it's nice because you can still dodge roll with kind of heavy builds, but it staggers a lot of normal enemy attacks. So to get started, uh, you're gonna want to come to this Shrine of Grace. It is the foot of the four belfries. And it's pretty far up, don't worry if you don't have it or you don't know how to get to it. I'm gonna show you how to get there from the beginning of the game. You do not have to kill anything once you get your horse unlocked. So from the Shrine of Grace, just hop on your horse and in the middle of these red jellyfish up here, there will be a couple of items on the ground. Just spam your item collection button. For me, it's Y on the Xbox controller, probably triangle on PlayStation and not sure for PC, but yeah, just spam it and you'll get it and then just run away and then boom, you'll have it in your inventory. It's that simple. This shield is super OP. It's eight weight, blocks 100% of physical damage, and it has a special ability that gives a damage bonus. To get this from the beginning, we're gonna start at Storm Hill Shack. This is one of the very early sites of grace. So from the ch church, just follow the grace points, this is the next site of grace from when you actually unlock your steed. And you don't have to fight anything to get to this point. So just hop on your horse and follow the route that I'm showing you on the screen. Hmm? Go across this bridge and then you're gonna drop down to the left once you get up here. Ride through this secret pass, ignore the wolves. <laughs> Grab this side of grace, you'll get it as soon as you emerge. And go to the left here. Cut down the path. You're gonna cut through this camp. And grab this next site of grace. Continuing. Take this horse jump pad up and you're gonna stay up for a while. Cut through this next camp. Again, ignore all the ads. And now it's pretty easy to get there. You're basically just gonna follow this wall on the left and you'll eventually find it. Again, ignore all the ads. Don't worry about the crabs or anything else like that. All right, once you get past the bridge, run to the right up here a little bit. And as you're going, you might as well pick up these sites of grace along the way. Make sure you go inside the buildings.
Watch out for the bats. And there's the Sight of Grace from the beginning of the video. So if that was helpful, please like, subscribe, and until next time, thanks for watching.